It's like me, I'm the sickest it it's not visiting clinics, no mimicking gimmicks, diminish with lyrics and finish in minutes, so vivid your grimace, distinguish I'm English, I'm living it British, the business I'm in it, grind kill it, I'm silly, I'm crippling physics and spitting acidic... Yo, I put the brute in brutality I make the ravers lose sanity Wanna see man then move to the beat Wanna see gal on a few calories Let me show man what a new swagger be I get the kids hyped like a huge bag of sweets Put up your hands and brook up the dance If you wanna live life on a huge salary As we move. Ready, yeah? Yo. Now what I'm gonna say first is definitely gonna piss him off. Cause we made an agreement that there wasn't to be limits crossed. Anything too personal, bin it off so it isn't hot. We made a pact and we promised I was actually on it, but I had my hands in my pockets and man had his fingers crossed. <laughs> Joking. Don't go get an emotional geezer. I'll go as far as saying when we made high day, this pussy choked on a reefer. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, listen, no, no, listen, listen. I'm not holding back because he's been going on like a diva, but truthfully, I don't want you fucking exposing me either. Let's be real. <laughs> I'm only doing this for charity, not to see this faggot send. I'm gonna win and give the cash prize to CYF, Natalia, and Yaz and them. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, bro, I can't wait till this fucking battle ends. People are gonna see us in the street after and be like, oh, battle friends. <laughs> and, I, yo, and I know you're better on Don't Flop, but I'm better with tunes, better with bookings, better with work rate, and I'm better with views. And I've always wanted to say this, bro, your head is a moon. About, yo, about flash flood, you couldn't fit your head in a flu. <laughs> Who told this, yo, 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 who told this shaving Jimmy Neutron he could spit with Bruce Dunn? <laughs> Who told Roger the alien he could spit off of the cranium? <laughs> I mean, we both got big noggins, but the size of yours is too intense. <laughs> when Blue Teeth gives him out, he has to stretch him out to suit his head. Wait, <laughs> wait, hey, hey, we should start a new event that'll be improving flex, where he's a cool celeb, because you look like a mixture of Matt Lucas and Louis Spence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna first join, yo, I'm first join, yo, yo, when I first joined, yo, yo, when I first joined Young Flop, I had a little talk with you. I said you should give it a go, you could do well and slaughter dudes, and he did. Man started bodying rappers and getting all the views, we'd go to events and he'd win. And I would just, you know, sort of lose. <laughs> Don't flop not king, they handed the torch to you. Even newcomer of the year he was awarded to. You've got all the praise and he never had a fault for brew, well what can I say mate, I'm so glad I brought you through. <laughs> And I fucking hate it. Now I don't have to pretend. Imagine sitting in a car for two hours looking at the back of his head listening to classic FM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true story. We usually travel to clashes together and I fucking hate it. Now I don't have to pretend. Imagine sitting in a car for two hours having to look at the back of his head listening to classic FM while he pre battle meditates trying to master his head. <laughs> I can't see a single car on the road cause man's head's like a hatchback and you wonder why before battles I'd never lend you a snapback and you, and you and your brother trying to get to London always turns into a mad task Would one of you please learn to use a fucking sack <laughs> And you wanna know how I know this guy will never make pee? Cause he sits in his flat drawing pictures on girls tits on page 3 <laughs> Uh, 
At first I thought it was funny, I thought they were actually nice pics, 40 pairs of tits in. I'm like, are you going through a midlife crisis? <laughs> If you haven't seen him, go on his Facebook and have a little clip. It's his new favourite hobby, he's put aside doing music or making an actual vid. This is why all his raps on politics all now and always have been drastically shit. Man's trying to do a part two David Cameron disc, getting info out of the sun, keeps getting distracted by tits. I mean, <laughs> when you do bars on politics, I think it's this guy messing. What do you think? Gordon Brown would reply with the Lord of the Mike's home session. <laughs> Gordon, yo, shut up. Gordon Brown, mercy, yo, actually, yo. When you do bars on politics, I think it's this guy messing. What do you think? Gordon Brown would reply with the Lord of the Mike's hype session. I can see it now. Gordon Brown versus Euphorical. The winner would be granted a new saviour till they realise Euphorical's a vandalizer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you see me? I could hit up David Cameron with a nice diss. Give Margaret Thatcher bars on facts to show her she's a right bitch. Tell Gordon Brown he ought to drown and Tony Blair is a phony Blair and the Miller bands to give us grands and sort us out some nice gifts. I could make a protest, send for him with a hype bid. Make loads of irrelevant statements on politics, but with a grime twist, go to Buckingham Palace, get on this hype shit, see how the Queen likes it. No, sorry, can't do it, feel like a right prick. <laughs> Yeah. About you brought me through. How are you coming to me like that, fam? I was the one who brought you out of Long Eaton with your first ever cash cut. Yeah. Yeah. Long Eaton. I really respect Eddie. this indie hipster path that you chose and I know your head gets bigger as your fan base grows and you get lots of bookings with the band for shows and this is a mismatch to every real man that knows so I'm going to keep it real as far as this banter goes because you know you're shit at violin and it makes you angry loads and your ego and pride just took some massive blows because you've been beat by more rappers than Amber Rose <laughs> tournament was proper sick, but I didn't watch it and missed it. Because last time I had to watch this prick get bodied by Sisty. <laughs> and, I'm a raver, and I'm a raver, but I can never go back to boom time because I had to watch him get finished by natural in two rounds. Oh. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't go, I can't go to the Fiddler's Elbow in London, no matter how many sick battles they've brought, because I had to watch him chuck a padlock and then get battered by Jay Short. <laughs> go to the wardrobe in Leeds. This is something I can't say nicely, because I lied to you when I told you you got robbed against Jay Knight. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, I, yeah, and yes, and I, yo, and I smacked a guy, but that's not why Norwich isn't getting a next visit. It's because I had to watch him cry when he got buried by Flex Blizzy. <laughs> Event, you know, because this man shit. What kind of guy chokes at his first ever hometown event and then gets bodied by pamphlet? <laughs> one of his last battling strikes, but if he didn't get the pay-per-view, he got battered by high. <laughs> so, poor little Brucey. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna start crying. You know, you know when Sniper he said that, he wasn't lying. <laughs> you moaning about going down in the don't flop ranks is something I don't want to hear. You cry like a proper queer after every battle, you literally drop a tear. <laughs> But you've had such bad luck, bro. No wonder you're screwed. This is your eighth loss, my eleventh win. I'm dumping you. You beat, you beat, you beat Dirty Walls and Sniper E. Wait, it's not just the two. He actually beat Big J. What did he fucking do? <laughs> Anyway, all right, anyway, all right, ammunition's aiming, armor's advantageous against all average amateur arrogant acting anime as an aggressive artist, abrupt, aware, assertive and ageless, alarming and alerting adults alongside answering all ages, attaining awards, always aces, oh, ace floor, absent any apparatus, ahead advancing acres, antagonizing animals, apes and alligators, and attracting animosity, annoying awkward arseholes, announce all admirers, arsenic anus, accents atrocious, angles are abysmal and alliterations aimless. No, Bruce E can never sound like he's intelligent. It's not a lisp, I don't know what it is, but he's got a speech impediment. <laughs> 
just like Hypes, it's going to be quite a fucking challenge if you you battle me. Because you said, I fuck it challenge, you didn't use claret. So now I'm going to expose Bruce, fake Bruce Pride and Bruce Vanity. So you know that all the money's going to that youth's charity. Time. <laughs> Let's be real. You Oracle is a tight bastard. He won't spend Hold a penny. It down. Hold it down, man. Wrecking the battle if you fucking talk me <laughs> down. Nah, you Oracle is a tight bastard. He won't spend a penny even when he's stacking them peas. I remember when we went to battle at Distinction and you took three lunch boxes full of ketchup and pasta to Leeds. <laughs> And if Freedom Clothing didn't hook him up with plenty of kit, I guarantee you would wear the same garments in every vid. <laughs> <laughs> he puts his all into doing nothing but battling and writing bars. You don't care if he ain't in... Yo, it's because he puts his all into doing nothing but battling and writing bars. You don't care if he ain't got food in the fridge, but if he ain't in the top five on the Don't Flop Forum, then times are hard. <laughs> I'm only saying this because we're mates, and I really hope you're getting this. But you're obsessed with battling, Luke, and you might need to see a therapist. <laughs> Yo, I'd rather make tracks than straight clash on track to the top, because music will never die out, you see the fans never stop. I play the Outlook Festival with... Yo, what the fuck, man? Yo, hold it down! Yo, I'd rather make tracks than straight clash on track to the top Cause music will never die out, you see the fans never stop I played the Outlook Festival with Sandy my socks You went to Canada and had a shit battle and lost oh. 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 And you got caught up in the dope flop scent But where did that talk send you? Send you talking on phones for a living, that's why you're a pure bender You got murdered by Quill and Hawk, so that was a poor venture No wonder you were the centre of call outs when you work out in a call centre oh. Catch him at work writing bars You see he shows dedication, he can't let his supervisor see him though Cause he's not very patient, when he leaves you get to spray him 16's a devastation, he comes back in the room and you're like You could be owed 2,000 pounds due to recent legislation <laughs> He's on an elite team. He won sickest white boy in knots. Wow, what an achievement. <laughs> he had to be Richard How yo, he had to be Richard Howard, Brian, Matthew, Thomas, Ted P, then Timmy, Barry, Simon, Gary, Marcus, John, and then Steven. <laughs> and don't you dare go on that rap, it's the roots from where you bred, because before you were vandalizer, you used to be a greb. <laughs> It must leave you with an instant scar. You used to spike your hair up and dye it blonde like that breader from Lincoln Park. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. So then when I was listening, yo, yo, when I was listening to Slim, Mob, Dre, Snoop, you were listening to Blink 182. Really? And you want to collab with Scores Easy? Mate, piss off. You told me you hate hip hop and rate Slipknot. <laughs> He ain't got a clue about hip hop. When he found out this battle was being hosted by Rodney, he jumped for joy and was gassed like, man, I hope I get to meet the rest of the Only Fools and Horses cast. Oh. <laughs> You're a twat. You calling me a grab, that's a bit off key. You showed me a photo of you in a black bandana and a slipknot tick. <laughs> now <laughs> I'm going home. Yo, now after dark movement versus origin one. After dark movement versus Origin 1. If they were fighting for the belt, Carissa would grab Natalie by her hair, she'd be crying for help. Johnny would have Percy Dredd in a headlock and Trekker would be fucked in the corner fighting with himself. <laughs> He'd be doing a painting like, get on lads, can we try? <laughs> Neon, Neon won't give a fuck about that because he's high. You're, 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 try, you're trying to stop everyone fighting with awkward saxophone guy. <laughs> and Quaker got Mason's drumstick and stabbed him in his ass. <laughs> With you, it's all band practice, band camp. The conversation is bland. <laughs> so, these chicks don't even know their names. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
I told you. Yo. Yo, listen. You're an indie hipster. Your style's all for the teens, yet you're trying to cross over into the reggae and dancehall scene. I've seen this coconut dry rap patois. Pussy, how you mean? <laughs> Coconut try rap patois, pussy how you mean? You're about as yardy as sausage, egg, beer, can and bee. <laughs> Trials coming like some mixed race Harry Styles. Oh. And Brucey always does some next shit with his hair. He thinks he's not in him's fresh Prince of Belair. Oh. So, so people stare at your head and put your head to the stair. Your head's a violation like what that skeptic did to Soler. Oh. And I know that all you girls might think that's quite hot, but you're the only guy I've ever met with a relaxed high top. <laughs> hit a crossroads while chasing your dream because you've got no fans, well, over the age of 14. Because <laughs> to be fair, you know where the most fans run up to Bruce Bear? Goose Bear. <laughs> <laughs> and you've slept with so many girls yet for the rest of your life you'll be a loner. Even if a girl had Ebola, Ebona. <laughs> And you work in a vintage shop. Now every man knows vintage. Fuck off, they're just second hand clothes. <laughs> Go from Long Eaton into the hood, but on your birthday set, no one bought you a drink or a bud. Watching you cast on Drac and Reload, that just isn't good. It was like watching Simon from the In Between has got a part in Kiddlehood. I'm, I'm from the times of shots, movement, and military crew. Not for me, games cartel hoods up were killing it too. But when NG cartel was bringing me through, Vendor and Listen Mixtape yes. was what they were listening to. From the suburbs to clash, Shadow's birthday set, you got murked and dashed. If it was back in 05, you'd see this nerd get slashed. There wouldn't be no Brucey's birthday bash. <laughs> you, 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 you think you could have done a set with Militant Miller? And there's a pair of them jeans that are differently skinny. <laughs> <laughs> it's just wounded because nobody from back in. Yo, he's just wounded because nobody from back in them days knows him. I'm talking back before my blue, boy Blue Cheese have made any clothing. Oh. We know you're the boy from the art skirts, mate. It's not a ting, but if you went see the barbers, he'd lock off the set and make you have a trim. <laughs> When I confirmed Rick Rick's opponent, he was like, nah, that's quite risky, because you know that I already nearly got banged out by Mick. Oh, oh, so imagine, imagine him surviving when Knox was quite terrible. You've been here for about two years, that's not quite credible. Big up the actual man that really brought me through, like Ninja Stan Warico and Old Tight General. <laughs> Saying I've only got underage fans at a plus 18 event is the lamest choice. If you're a fan of my music in here right now, make some noise! <laughs> When you're judging this, when you're judging this, try not to get hyped in it because that round was at least about five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that round was at least about five minutes. Let me get onto my written team. Yo, start my film. Yo, now Nottingham Hockley Hustle has been absolute fire. The talent displayed across our city is something to admire. I ran a stage with Flex Origin One and After Dark and most main events, but other than this, I can't see your name on the flyer. <laughs> Yo, I headline this venue, Clash of the Peasant. Soon me with Origin 1, getting the gal them all sweating. Then when After Dark play a jam cap in a second, he'll be outside with a CD like, please buy one part of my <laughs> That's the name of this 
new CD like he's some drug stallion. Bro, don't get gas because you took one Valium. <laughs> <laughs> Leave this cock in a fumble because when he passed out of the valley, he got fingered in his also by Ollie from Tumble. <laughs> <laughs> you stood, yo, you stood selling your CDs on road is a big issue, fella. Because the way you pitch them to passers by, you look like a big issue seller. <laughs> but when I release a CD, I make sure my shit's in tune. Put down peas when the master in the mixing's due. Yeah. You lay glitches in his tracks when you're listening through because he records all his mixtapes in Ninja's room. <laughs> STS designs my covers. Best show easy. Shrink wrap package. Man, I leave and let go freebies. Then along comes Euphorical for five pound a pop with flash floods too. On a Tesco CD. <laughs> He thinks his CD's got better in status But with the quality I'm thinking you're crazy You're not a notch better in like scores easy because you're lazy And I get used to host at Flex sometimes You'd think it was all good but recently me and Tracker had to have a little talk bro Cause you get too pissed every time We do like you and it's all love but you're never hosting again Cause it's embarrassing and awkward no. Yo no. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Yo. You're cringy between bars with the driest of chat. Cramming in Bemo isn't a vibe, it's just whack. When we said to get the crowd hyper and gassed, that didn't mean shout down the mic like a twat. <laughs> I had to stop Trekker last time, otherwise he would have told him off. He's like, me and Plex are collaborator. No, 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 we're not. <laughs> and against Tony D, he said, I'll perform collaborated alongside the likes of Joe Dan. Oh. What well, do you mind people who want to hear you rhyme the same word on a dubstep beat for about five minutes? No, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're a good battler, but your music ain't flowing. I get cash from my tracks, that's why I always go in. But when it comes to battles, he don't ever see fun showing. He's like a shit canoeist the way you don't get no money from rowing. Oh. <laughs> you wanna know why? Cause her's got his hand up your back tip. <laughs> you think he's a ventriloquist, and you've done better in the past, but you ain't spitting as sick as this. I'll swing a fist and leave youth lost in a dream like the kid from Insidious. I move hideous, bruised rhythm is too different, my view's limitless. I'll put you straight in the ground and then slew witnesses. I'm a true villain, I'm do I'm through winning, I'll do sinning and leave Luke spinning. My nephew always says you look like that dude Krillin. But wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait. wait. Oh. <laughs> no. Er's got his hand up, you bat it. You think he's a ventriloquist, and you've done better in the past, but you ain't spitting as sick as this. I'll swing a fist and leave youth lost in a dream like the kid from Insidious. I move hideous, bruised rhythm is too different, my view's limitless. I'll put you straight in the ground and then slew witnesses. I'm a true villain, I'm through winning, I'll do sinning and leave Luke spinning. My nephew always says you look like that dude Krillin. But wait, hold up a sec, you wanna know why that shit is too fitting? Because if you bring those lardy dardy bars, you'll get that Kamehameha and that's you finished! <laughs> And I know you like alliteration, so only for fun, I'm gonna show you Foracal how it's supposed to be done. Look, because I'm an entertaining, egotistical, elite enforcer, ending existence. Embrace excitement, explore entities, Earth's exhibition. Effecting emotions excessively, erase evil's expedition. Excellent execution, entering exorcism. Experiment each era, expressing elements every EP. Exterminating enemies, extraterrestrial, I'm ET. Expand is explanations, emphasize an echo with each E. Because I'm effortlessly expressing alliteration is easy. <laughs> Enormous, elongated egghead. <laughs> egg salmon. Man, I wouldn't leave his yard if there was an egg famine. <laughs> Enormous, elongated egghead. Egg salmon. My man wouldn't leave his yard if there was an egg, egg farm. Farm. He's got an egghead, exaggerated rating and an egg palace but I'm Spyro the Dragon because I'll make that egg vanish. <laughs> This fussy Barack Obama, he can actually back his car. <laughs> like, 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 I am you, fuck it hot, yo. I am you, boss get hot like fire in a booth I'm a difference between lies and truth I'm a better MC, I've got proof Seen bare girl, the big of a numb fate Like a girl who's skin tone Skin tone, bro, it's skin tone <laughs> Not skin tone, like he's not from this home He'll switch up his tone You're from Knox, not London, I'll let this prick know We talk like this, bro You speak like this, bro <laughs> So fuck your I put the brew in brutal bars You put the brew in Bruno Mars <laughs> Brown nose, 
Because you'd see Bruno's Bruno's ass. <laughs> now, I heard this guy say, you'll get a Muay Thai kick like I've been to Japan. <laughs> saying you get a Chinese burn like I've been to Iran <laughs> and he said I'll take he said I'll take you back to the future like Matt LeBlanc <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro are you barman imagine back to the future with Martin McFly Jerry should be on you asked me for a verse on high day yo hold it down man Yo, you asked me for a verse on high day. We did the JDZ video, it was actually fun, mate. Every day's a high day, from Monday to... Why did you miss out Saturday and Sunday? Because <laughs> me, I've got, I've got concepts, lyrics, and I'm coming with flows. You've got... I've got concepts, limit, I've got concepts, lyrics, and coming with flows. You've got slogans, gimmicks, and colourful clothes. <laughs> You might see him in a raven at Air Max One. We don't care what crepes you have on. <laughs> you spend time promoting big brands, that's long, but you never get no freebies, that's wrong! Yeah. Oh, your repping corporations, and what's awkward is all that free promo and you've never got no royalties, but it's all for the YouTube views, I can see it's beer scandal, but fuck it, Air Max One, they want it Air Vandal. Yeah. He goes, Max. Max! <laughs> Max, you can't have that off flow done. That's not the only style that jacks. You know his whole track, Kamehameha, by Dragon Ball Z? Completely catted off Street Fighter by D double Lee. And apart from you, apart from you, apart from you biting shit, I don't want to act like a prick, but you're only doing well in this battle because your ghostwriter's sick. <laughs> Being a gimmick's not all right, Josh. No, I didn't really. <laughs> Being a gimmick's not all right, Josh. Just look at yourself. I heard your track that goes, oh my gosh, I thought I'll do a track called Oh Bloody Hell. It goes, Bruce on a new track, Oh Bloody Hell. But he repeats words, Oh Bloody Hell. Mash up the place like Oh Bloody Hell, and then he repeats it until they Oh Bloody Hell. <laughs> You're a gimmick MC, don't follow me. You can't even get a reload properly. Clash against me, it will be no holiday. Gonna rain down on this Gino wanna bet. Oh. I'm British, so I can have a brew. Yeah, I can do that shit, I can do you. Look out for Bruce, he's next big track coming through. It goes, I got brew, brew. Yeah. brew. People, make some noise, show some love, chant for the air, you throw a crew. Yeah. yeah. You, I'm glad you didn't have to say that again. <laughs>